I do not be dating right now. <laughs> They're 15. They've got to have boyfriends or girlfriends. I want to take a second to discuss this. Father, I pray that you bless this message and just speak through me, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. That man, the look, the way he reacted was such a blessing because my husband would be the same way. But here's the thing. When it comes to that, when it comes to that, um, as Christian believers, it should be courting, not dating. And secondly, I have a child that is in the teenage years, and she's 15, and I am so blessed. She said, no, I don't, you know, I don't want a boyfriend, I don't want to date until I'm out of school. It has a lot to do with the way we parent. Just because they're 14, 15, 16, 17, it does not mean they need to be dating. Just because you dated at that age doesn't mean your kids need to be dating at that age. Our job is to discipline them, direct them, help them grow in the ways of the Lord. But right there, as you see, the world's view is, hey, as soon as you're old enough to have hormones to be excited and see what the opposite sex looks like, you ought to be out here doing this. No, that ain't how it works. We don't play that way in my house. And any and all other believers should feel the same that I do as far as my job is to protect them. Now, I'm not saying they can have a crush, you get to know someone, be friends. I'm saying they are too young to be dating. They are too young to be dating. 14, 15 years old. And we're and I'm not being mean. I know some people have circumstances and things that happen. But when you let kids go out by themselves and them ages, that's why you end up being a grandma before you should be or a grandpa. Our job is to stop those generational things from happening. Not to continue to let it happen.